¡Cállate, cabrón! ¡O te vas a morir! ¿Qué te faltas? ¿Dónde fuiste, güerito? ¡Regrésate! Welcome back, ladies and gents, to another treacherous episode of Show and Kill. Today, I got El Señor Garache. Now, El Señor Garache is my guest today, and as you can see, he is scared shitless. You want to tell him why you're scared? I told tomatoes. So, to pay for his crimes, execution. So this morning, I went out to my garden, and I picked my first watermelon. It was freaking massive. I was so excited. I brought it home, showed it to the family, shared it to everybody. The whole world was celebrating. I'm telling you, it was like the 4th of July on steroids. Watermelons were falling out of the skies. Everybody was happy. Except for one of my little raccoons ripped it open with a knife. And this is what we found. It's raw. I picked it too early. I didn't know when to pick it. So, I was picking my watermelon here. And apparently, this has to be dried and shriveled up like this. The stem, before you pick a watermelon. Otherwise, it's raw. I didn't realize that. And the bottom part has got to be yellow instead of white. See how that's still white? It's all got to be yellow. So, even though my watermelon was huge, it wasn't ripe yet, and it is, I think I got the biggest variety I could. I think these things get like up to 100 pounds, so I totally thought it was overripe, but it wasn't. Lesson learned. So, uh, what a waste, but then I thought of something. Nothing is waste unless it's wasted. So for today's video, we're actually going to let El Gavache go. Uh -huh. Poor guy, he actually thought we were going to do something to him. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't. I'd just tell him that every week because he keeps stealing my, you know, produce out of my garden. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this watermelon and shoot it with all my different calibers to see what they'll do. So I got my Ruger 1022. We're going to shoot it. And then after that, we're going to go to the Glock 9mm, and then the XDM 40 cal, and then, ultimately and finally, the buckshot. You can see the bullets in there. Woo. See if we can get it now. Let's see what happens. Alright boys, let's do this. This is actually my favorite gun. It, uh... It holds 10 shots. Let me open that for you. Literally, it's my fidget spinner. I love it. 22 ammo is about the only thing anybody can shoot these days. So I can just... Have fun shooting all day. As much as I want. This right here was made by my mother-in-law. I had it designed and she made it for me. She does the coolest leather work ever. She builds all my gun holsters. But let's do this. Wait. You know what? I'm going to shoot them on the other side. I think for the 22, I'm going to find a cleanest spot. That way we can actually see the hole better. So let's flip them around. So I think. This would be a nice spot. About right here. Let's try it out. All right. Wait. I'm gonna put our glasses on. Woo! 
What? I don't see no bullet holes. What the heck is this? I think somebody gave me a bunch of blanks. What are these things? Hold on. Something she's going on. Oh, well that'll solve the problem. They gave me a bunch of damn blanks. Just kidding. I had to see what these would do. They're a bunch of construction blanks. Heh. <laughs> Alright, now let's load our gun up with real bullets, see what'll happen. But check that out. Literally just a bunch of pitter splatter. Oh, let's see here. Pretty cool, huh? All right, here we go. Ooh, one nice little crack hole. What does this side look like? Oh, came out right here. One small little hole. All juice leaking everywhere now, look at that. So this is pretty interesting. I shot that 22 bullet about right here. It's about halfway up the watermelon. But as you come to, yeah. As you come around, it's clear down here. So I had actually shot it at about this up here, but it traveled downwards. And just leaking all that juice out. Second down in the line. I think on this one, I'm gonna shoot it about right here. Down this way. Pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, that was nice. Looks like we got a big hole. Check that out. Seems like it made a big old hole in there. Let's see what it looks like. I guess this is it. You would think it would exit bigger than it entered. That's the entry. That's the exit. Hmm. Time for the 40. This is a really cool gun. I like it. Ooh, that was cool significantly bigger hole big old cracks way bigger than that nine nice way bigger than the nine Now oh, that was cool. <laughs> I'm gonna offload that. Here's the joys of living in your backyard in the country. You guys are gonna wanna check this out. 
These weird little beetles or flies, I've never seen them before, but they love this gun. Look at that. Now for the moment of truth. This is a buckshot. Now, if I were to take a marker, this is what it'll look like if you can see right through it. All these big old BBs. I can see the shadows. There's just tons of them. So. Ladies and gents, now the moment you're waiting for. In a world where veggies and buckshot meet, what will become of he at point blank? Now that was epic buckshot for you. This is why we put buckshot in our home defense. Holy crap. What a dumb militia. Wow. Look at that. Ooh. Wonder what happened to the hat. Well, I guess I completely missed the hat. Dang it. Nope, I didn't. Here's a little bullet hole. A little buckshot went through it. Here's my ripe watermelon.